Hi guys and welcome to part 26 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials and on this part we are going to implement the delete functionality for our books. We are going to start by first implementing the delete confirmation view. So for that we need to go to deletebook.component.html file and here I'm going to paste some code from my GitHub repository but provide the link for you on the description section so you can get it as well. And here we are going to see that we have created an interpolation to our book title and book description values from our component. So let's go to deletebook.component.ts file and here we are going to create these two properties. What we need to do first is that we need to inject our Firebase service, router and activated route modules. So for that in our constructor just write Firebase service, router, activated route. Router and activated route belong to Angular router and the Firebase service is the firebase.service.ts file. Let's add the id property and we need this property to get the idea of the book that we want to delete. So for that we are going to use the activated route module. So now we have the idea of the book that we want to delete. To get the details for this book we are going to use the firebase service get book details method. To hold the book title and the description of the book we are going to create two new properties which we are going to name book title and book description. So we have the idea of the book, let's get the book title and the book description for that book. So this way we get the book title and the book description but on the view we see that once the user is going to press the delete button the remove book function is going to be executed and this function is to be written in our component. So for that go to the component.ts file and just below the ng on init we are going to add the remove book function. And this function is going to be used to call the delete book function from the Firebase service and then it's going to redirect the user to the home page. But we see that in our Firebase service we don't have the delete book function. So for that let's go to firebase.service.ts file and add the new delete book function. Just below the update book add the new function delete book which simply gets the id as a parameter and from the books it's going to remove a book based on that ID. So save the changes and go back to your application. Let's say that we want to delete this read book. For that we go to the book details first and then click the delete button. Here we are going to be asked if we want to delete this book. Let's click the delete permanently button. After the book was deleted you see that you are going to be redirected to the home page and on the home page or on the all books page we are going to see that our read book is missing. So the book was deleted. This is all for this part. On the next part we are going to implement authentication using the Angular Fire 2 library. So guys thank you for watching and see you on the next part.